but the ratings, Ephraim, are down. And they're down big time. TNT, their ratings are down 23%. ESPNs are down 20%. And the regional sports networks overall are down 13%. Now, some of the regionals are up, but overall they're down 13%. Here's where I say myself and and others of my ilk deserve some blame. I think now for, I, I don't know, the last 15, 20 years, maybe 15 years or so, we in the media... It really, it's with the birth of the sports talk shows, the opinion shows, the undisputeds, the first takes and things like that. We have put so much emphasis on championships or bust. You could be dynamite in the regular season and not win a ring, a la James Harden. And we act like you haven't done jack. <laughs> I mean, matter. it's all about the rings. And I think now players, particularly a Kawhi Leonard, is looking at that and wanting to save himself. Because he, he's foregoing MVPs, first-team All-NBAs, all those regular season awards, he's throwing them out. Yeah, he's not even. I'm not even thinking about him for MVP. And if he wasn't doing low management, he'd be right there near the top. He's one of the top players in the league. Right. So he's saying, forget all that. It's all about the playoffs and rings. And I think now you got the media doing it. You got the players, some of them thinking that way. And now fans are saying, well, hey, if it if it's irrelevant, if it doesn't matter, if it's just one of 82 meaningless games for the most part, then why in the world am I going to break my neck to watch the game? And I think that's a big part. We So we all are a big part of the problem. We are, we are a big part of the problem. And the onus is on championships now, even if you're watching TNT, when Shaq and Charles go at it, the first right, thing right. is like Chuck, you don't know, right? right. You don't, you don't know what yes. it takes to be a champion. You right? got Kenny Smith, who, for, with all due respect, because I obviously like Kenny, he wasn't half the player Barkley, not was. even close. And he's talking trash to Barkley. He is because he, he got, got two rings. rings. Right. <laughs> I mean, what can you do? And when you look, when you look at it, Kevin, Dur- that weighed heavily on Kevin Durant, one of the league's right. best score. I'm talking about Mister. He's the he's one of the leagues. I I coin him as the only unguardable force in the league. Period. That's fair. It's nothing you can do defensively. Well, I, I wouldn't say the only one now, but you're. It's he, nothing you can do defensively right. to stop Kevin Durant. Right. He was like, "Look, <laughs> hey man, I don't care what y'all think about right, me. Right, 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 right. When it's all said and done, I'm not gonna be the guy on TV who doesn't have a championship." who's got all these awards and accolades, but doesn't have postseason glory. So he went over to the best team in the league, and they won a couple championships together. Right. Right? It's weighing heavily on players, so of course it's going to weigh heavily on us. A lot of movement in the NBA has been dictated on that premise, championship no or bust. No question. I mean, that's what LeBron, who has started the modern-day movement, he did. it was about championships, period. Oh, Legacy, he he had to whatever. It was about right. championship. He knew his legacy wouldn't be close to the same, and he would be viewed as a failure. Yes. Because of all the hype if he didn't get those rings. And I think it began from, I think, with Bird and Magic because they were such winners. And Bird never led the league in scoring, even though he may have been the best scorer in the league. Magic, 19 points, 10, mm-hmm. 11 assists a game. You know, but they won every year. They were in, one of them was in the finals, and I think that's when winning became the focus. And then Jordan took it to a whole nother level whole when nother he level. won six, essentially six straight. And now it's about championships. I'll give you a prime example: Jerry West, the logo, and what is his nickname? Mister Clutch. Mister Clutch. Now there is no way on God's green earth today in 2019. That a guy who went to seven straight finals and lost all of them. (laughs) He was one for nine in the finals. He lost his first seven. There's no way your nickname would be Mr. Clutch. It'd be the opposite. You'd be getting ripped. You'd be getting ripped. Right? You wouldn't be the logo. No. No. (laughs) You wouldn't be the logo. And so that's how Oscar Robertson, a lot of people thought he was the GOAT. You know? He, He won one ring with Kareem. 
Lou Alcindor at that time in Milwaukee didn't have a lot of playoff success before he went to Milwaukee. Wilt won two. You know, I mean, yeah. so it wasn't just about rings at that time, and now it is. And that's I think that's a big reason why the ratings are down. And I will say this. Per usual, this time of year, NBA ratings are down because football right. is winding down. Right. NBA ratings typically pick up after the All Star break because that's when teams are really posturing and and and, 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 and making over, a push. Course. Football's done. Right. All eyes on basketball. Right. So let's just let's make that clear. Like the NBA is not falling off a cliff. Right. But right. I will say these games aren't as intriguing and aren't as interesting right now because you know you'll get a you know. A, a Dallas team versus the the Grizzlies, right? I mean, uh, but I do want to see of watching Luka, John Morant or Luca, right? But you're the you're the the few, few and far between in terms right. of marquee Just matchups. Fans. Well, hold on, is, is there also potentially overkill? Because I yes. used to be a huge. In fact, growing up, as much as I loved the NBA, I liked college basketball better. Okay, and now. I mean, I got to be honest. Look, I watch it. I pay attention. It's my job. But I'm not really into college basketball. Not until, until the tournament. March, right. Not until the tournament. Because now there's a there's several dozens of games on every night. And where there used to be the big games on Saturdays, college basketball. And so maybe that's a part of it, too. And, and another reason, I mean, probably you feel this way, and a lot of people feel this way, about, especially about college basketball, is – we don't ever get enough time to get to know these guys. Right. Right. You Back in the know, day, you yes. the Fab Five, they was going to rock. Yep. Right? Remember the running yep. Rebels? They was rocking. And even the Fab was, you're right. They, I mean, you get Rebel two, three years, two years, right? You're right. You used to get, you, you, you used, used to, get some to time. know going into the season who were the best players. It's five new starters. Right. Every, right. For your team you're every right. year. That's a and big so part. now that, that you like, I don't know these guys. And when you finally start to get to know them, they're gone. Yep. New breed comes in. Yep. All right, LeBron and the Lakers have been good, but they haven't been that good. I'll explain next. It's the I couple with Ephraim Salim and Farah Parker. But the Clippers, I would say this, Ephraim, the Clippers, I think, have been more impressive than the Lakers, even though the Lakers are 17-3, the Clippers are 15-6. and Here's why. Clippers, Kawhi's missed six games. Paul George has missed 11 and yet, they have beaten the Lakers, the Jazz, the Raptors, and the Mavericks, all top-flight clubs, by double figures. And then they've also beaten Boston and Houston. I mean, they, they have a body count that nobody in the NBA can match right now, including Milwaukee and the Lakers. The Lakers, I'm not saying they're not great and maybe the best team in the league. But they've been beating up on a bunch of chumps. They're only 3-3 three and three against teams 500 or better. We just saw them lose to Dallas. But they've been beating up on bad teams. And again, I'm not saying I picked them. But I'm saying to this point, I got to say the Clippers have been more impressive because they've had a rougher schedule and beating up these teams. Christopher, all right. I see you I'm, smiling <laughs> like you think I'm crazy. I don't think you're crazy, right? But let me just give you a precursor, all right? <laughs> I'm a diehard Laker fan, okay? So you, can't, you, you, no, you no, didn't no, even no, hear a word no, but, I said. But I, 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 I did. <laughs> and, but I want to say it like this because, look, I pride myself in being unbiased when I do, okay. when I work. Okay. Because it's not about my likes and what right. I – I don't want that to cloud my judgment. Okay. I hate the Clippers. Always have. I'm a Laker guy. I hate that Kawhi and Paul George went there. Right. Right? Kawhi, Aztecs forever, right? <laughs> San Diego right. State, say, my you, guy. Yo, 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 Used to be mother. my guy. <laughs> right? When he turned coded on me, I, I, <laughs> I agree with the sentiment that the Clippers have a better team than the Los Angeles Lakers, the entire team. The Clippers bench is the best bench in the league. Right. Lou Williams. Lou Williams Dontrez, look, they are they're, they're the real deal, right. and that's scary to me. Right. Right? The fact that Paul George and Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard just like, I'm going to play when I want to play, period. That's just what it is. Right. Unbelievably, I, but yes. I hate that. Fact. 
because I'm a purist, right? How come you can't play 82? Right. Or or close. You're making Try. a lot of money. Yes. You, 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 right? You, you get paid to play. Yes. I'm, I'm of, of, I'm, of, of I'm that, with that cloth. I'm with you. You're right. But I do like the Lakers. I like the fact that all of the Lakers are playing and they're gelling. And in the long run, I think the Lakers will be a stronger team when it comes down to it in the playoffs. It's going to be extremely difficult to beat a Laker team that hit, that's hit its stride in a seven-game series. I agree. I agree. And, again, that's a big reason why I picked the Lakers. I think AD and LeBron are the best duo in the league. Without a doubt. Right? And here's the other thing, and this can soothe the consciousness of Lakers fans. The teams – I had one of LeBron's assistant coaches tell me this, and just watching him, you see it. He has had trouble, or the people that have given him the most trouble – have been seven-footers at the rim. Guys who could protect the rim and he'd have to finish over. Heck, Indiana with Roy Hibbert gave him trouble. Yeah, he did. Okay? Yeah. I mean, so the the Clippers, for as great as Paul George and Kawhi and Patrick Beverly are defensively, they do not have a rim protector. No, and we got three of them. Right. Right. So there's nobody at the rim to stop LeBron or even give him any resistance. He gonna put Zubach in the back in the <laughs> rim, okay? And so that's something that the Lakers fans can look forward to. And again, and I like that LeBron is respecting the regular season. I love it, taking it seriously. We can't let the fact that Kawhi is low managing skew our views. Hey, it's the I Couple. I'm Chris. He is Rob, and we want to encourage all of you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. You know, you can listen to us on the radio, and now you can watch us as well, and it's fun. No question about it. And remember, oh, yeah!